Hey, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> it's Monday, April 25th. Uh, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the weekend videos that we put out there. <laughs> the day with a soulmate hanging out, birthday for my middle son, Dan, and the soccer video. Hey, you know, I figured we'd go ahead and share that part of our life with you guys so you know we don't just do work all the time. We do have fun and relax. Uh, yeah, video before that had a lot of good information on it about the total maintenance that's involved in taking care of these big properties. And uh, basically, you need to know this stuff if you want to make that top dollar on any size property, even the smaller ones that have beds, flowers. They could use your expertise and service. Okay, so today <laughs> we are boom. Weed Patrol told you guys at the end of that video that uh, we were supposed to do Weed Patrol up here at this beautiful mountain range estate. So here we are. It's about 85 degrees. It's hot. And we got a lot of mess to clean up. So I'll stop here and there. Talk about some stuff that I see. Uh, we'll see how much footage we get. It's already 3.20. And... I got clean hands, so time to get to work. Yeah. The weed patrol. It ain't fun, but it's gotta be done. See? No more weeds out there in the front. I don't know if I can kill these things or not. We'll have to wait and see. Those mums from last year. <laughs> I'm not a mum expert, but maybe I trimmed it back too harsh. I'm not sure. I think the other ones are coming back. These are coming back. That's it. What about this? You can leave everything that's this. You can leave it. Just pull the little weeds out of it. Yeah. I don't know. I'll cut down all the sticks. Maybe if I just get rid of all the sticks, it'll all bloom back out. Leave the roots in. That's what it looks like it's doing. It's rooting around. All this new growth come from the roots instead of stems. So, yeah, whatever. Weed city here. First things first, gotta get rid of some dead shrubs. Two of the butterfly bushes died out. It's not all the way dead. But, ah, needs to come out. Little potted plant. And, uh, yeah. They're now coming back. I think maybe the cold weather we got this winter. Throw stuff out. Not really sure.
Taking these rose bushes out next. Shit, the dog keeps destroying them. Just, <laughs> yeah. The dog just comes in here and just does this to it. So, yeah. We're gonna take this out. Oh my god, girl. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. You okay? You need to get rest, man. Look.
Still got more work to do here. Prepping it out, flattening it out, all that good stuff. Whatever. <sighs> sweltering out here. For sure, sweltering. Giving her a little break. I put her chew toy there. She needed a little break. She was going to overheat. I don't even know it. All right. You want to see something that makes my skin crawl? I'm going to have to get it out of here, too. Got a couple of them I need to snip way up high. You know what I'm talking about as soon as I show them to you. All right, if you have these in your trees, snip them out as soon as you see the webs forming and get them off the property. Don't put them in a pile behind the property. Don't put them in a little debris pile anywhere on the premises. Get them suckers, throw them in the trash can, take them to the dump. All right, I'm gonna snip it. Stuff's going to the dump, so it's gonna go in the back of the truck. I'm gonna show you what I've been doing, what I still have. Obviously, I've been throwing the bone. <laughs> that wasn't part of the video. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Hang on the shade. All right, let me get rid of this one real quick. Go. All right, so we got rid of the roses and we got the rocks pretty much de-weeded. All the planters pretty much cleaned out all the way through. Kind of got to get some of the stone back in here. But, uh, all these are cone flowers. They're going to come up. Got some peonies. Uh, pile of weeds. Had to get all this straightened back out. Cleaned up. Rocks back into it. Another pile of weeds. All right, so here I am right now. I got this. So I'm gonna come pull the weeds. Get everything under control. All the sticks and everything. Just... It's not too bad. <laughs> Tree suckers everywhere. So in the past, I've been taking care of this place, but I haven't been having to do weed control and property upkeep. Uh, this year, it's on the list of things to do. Now, as you can tell, when you have beds like that, all over the place i'm not i'm not uh i'm not hating the fact that i dropped three accounts because those accounts were on this mowing route day so add on all the stuff for this property and the new forest property that makes up my time that i needed for this route without having to mow a lot of grass and i don't have to pay for fuel pulling weeds and I'll keep you in beds, right? Good point. Anyways, I'm gonna get into this stuff and uh, I guess we'll film it. I don't know if it's gonna look any different when I'm done or not, but we'll see.
cone flowers. Cone flower. You know, do what I gotta do, right? I wasn't spending money on gasoline doing this work. I don't mind pulling weeds at all. Had to get everything under control. The whole place was like, Make sure y'all fix those locks right there, too. All right, so I'm gonna grab a blower, go back here to the backyard, pool area. They've already done all the weeds everywhere else. Uh, we're gonna leave the secret garden and the two big perennial patches for another day. I ain't got time. It's like 6.15. So, clean this place up real quick. Call it a day at 7 o'clock. And, uh, Soulmate's got a special dinner for everybody. And since Ian's been on vacation, we haven't seen him for a while. He's coming to dinner too. So, yeah. Good stuff. I'll check back in.
Yeah. We're still throwing to the puppies. That's a never ending story. It'll be like that all year. Hey, I'm gonna walk you through real quick. We got everything weeded, cleaned up for the springtime. Um, just show you what we did. It's gonna be a battle keeping track of these weeds, but hey, that's what we're here for, right? We did install this bed right here, I don't know, a couple years ago. It's full of roses, crepe myrtles, mums, boxwoods. So I'll show you real quick. Some Russian sage, cone flowers here, peonies, azaleas, hostas, all sorts of stuff. If it's green and you can still see it, it's a perennial flower coming up. Everything else has been weeded, taken care of. I didn't get past here, so there's in the sidewalk. Still got this area here and secret gardens around there. So, yeah, walk around the back real quick. Pool area. Had a bunch of leaves blowing around, weeds everywhere just at the front. So, so we got done. Been busy. I think it's like 7:15. Got all that area cleaned up. They went through and got all the uh, potter plants, weeds everywhere. All these. So yeah, getting ready for the season. That much of these pot up here, cords, everything. Got it all tidied up for them. The potters pulled out, placed. They went through and cleaned all the beds out over there. So we still gotta go back through here. Kind of de-weed, clean up a little bit, not much. We did that big fall clean up here. So there's not like any standing leaves, but just gotta keep everything nice and neat. We ready to roll. Yeah. <laughs> That's a wrap, guys. I don't know how interesting this video was. I don't know if we got any cool footage or not, but hey, 
I was just pulling weeds and cleaning this stuff up. We'll see how it goes in this video. As always, I really appreciate you guys tuning in, uh, leaving the amazing comments that you do. And if you haven't checked out the last couple of videos, I, I like crammed throughout some videos this weekend just because it had to be done, right? Hey, as I always say, be good if you can. Be kind always and love each other. Peace, Elite Landscape Style. Time to go home and grow up.